Hi everyone, I am PseudoAI and in this video I am going to compare GPT-4 to its predecessor GPT-3.5. ChatGPT uses the GPT-3.5 model by default, but ChatGPT Plus subscribers have the option to switch the model to GPT-4. I'm going to give each model three different tasks to test out their logic, creativity, and programming prowess. I'll score them in each category along the way, and at the end of the video, we will tally up the scores for both models in each of those categories to see how much improvement, if any, GPT-4 has over its predecessor. I'm ready to be surprised, so let's dive into the first task the logic questions. I think it is only fitting that to determine which model is the smartest, we give each model five IQ test questions. All the questions I got from a quick Google search, so let's start with the GPT 3.5 model, which is the default model run in ChatGPT. Question one. At a conference, 12 members shook hands with each other before and after the meeting. How many total number of handshakes occurred? Wow, that was, that was a fast response. It stepped through the mathematical logic and gave us the formula it used to compute the answer of 132 handshakes, which is the correct answer. How does GPT-4 perform? It's a bit slower generating a response, but it also presented us with a mathematical formula and stepped through its calculations, arriving at the same answer. Both models are correct on the first question. However, this is the easiest of the five questions. It only gets harder from here. Question two. The day after the day after tomorrow is four days before Monday. What day is today? Again, a fast response from GPT. 3.5. It steps through its logic step by step, working through some simple algebraic relationships to arrive at the conclusion that today is Saturday. However, that is incorrect. You have to appreciate its confidence and the seemingly sound logic it used, which is something you all need to be careful about. Do not take any answers these AI give you at face value. Now let us ask the same question to the GPT-4 model. Interestingly, this model opted to reason its way through through this question instead of the mathematical approach the older model used. Also interestingly, the answer of Tuesday is also incorrect. Both models got this question wrong, though GPT-4 was a bit closer to the correct answer, but a slightly less incorrect answer is still wrong. So too bad. What do you all think the correct answer actually is? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to give your reasoning. Prove you are smarter than these models. Question three. This one is a bit wordier, so I apologize in advance. As we have done before, we will ask GPT 3.5 first. A fisherman has five fishes, namely A, B, C, D, and E, each having a different weight. A weighs twice as much as B, B weighs four and a half times as much as C, C weighs half as much as D, D weighs half as much as E, E weighs less than A, but more than C. Which of the following is the lightest? Again, opting for the mathematical approach, and unlike the previous question, it got this one correct. It is indeed option C. GPT-4 tackles the problem in a similar manner and arrives at the same answer, so both models get this question correct. After the first three questions, we are still tied, so hopefully the last two will show who the superior model is. Question four. This question actually is a follow-up to the previous question. In the above problem, E is lighter in weight than which of the following pairs? Let's copy and paste all the choices below the question and let's proceed. Some more mathematics, yada yada yada, and we arrive at two answers? Was not expecting that. And it somehow picked two of the incorrect answers. Truly amazing. So let's see if GPT-4 can break the tie. All right, so we're stepping through a bunch of mathematical logic and it's breaking it down by each choice, which I appreciate. And we also arrive at two choices that are a completely different two choices than what GPT-3.5 determined. The GPT-4 model did pick one of the correct choices, but incorrectly thought the other choice was also correct. So in the interest of breaking the tie, we will give GPT for a half point. Question five. This question is non-mathematical question, but it is designed to trick the test taker into picking a nearly correct answer. Here it is. Forest is to tree as tree is to plant, leaf, branch, and mangrove. GPT 3.5 reasoned that since forest is a collection of trees and the word tree is a single unit that makes up a forest, then the answer must be branch as a tree is made up of many branches, just as a forest is made up of many trees. Asking the same question to GPT GPT-4 gives us a different answer, but with the same reasoning. The analogy is one part to a whole, just as a tree is part of a forest and a specific part is a part of a tree. The answer it gives is leaf. So who won? Pause the video now and think about your own answer and reasoning, but for those who just want the answer, 
it is Leaf. So why do you all think Leaf is the correct choice? Let us know below why it is the correct choice. Anyways, GPT-4 gets this one correct. So the final score is 2 to 3.5 out of 5 total in favor of GPT-4. So congratulations, GPT-4 wins this round. Our next category is creativity. Which model is more creative? Let us give each model the following prompt. Give me step-by-step -step instructions for how to build a new desktop computer with the beginning letter of each subsequent word, starting from A to Z. If reaching Z, repeat and go from A to Z again. We'll start with GPT 3.5 again, and so far, so good. We got A, B, C, huh? and it messed up on G, H, I, J, K, L. Ugh. <laughs> I like how it try to do X capitalizing the X in examine, but I hate acronyms that capitalize like one of the middle letters to be a part of the acronym. So that definitely doesn't count in my opinion. Overall, I would not grade this very well. It missed like nine letters in the alphabet and it didn't even repeat the alphabet. So even though it got over 60% of the letters, I'm, I'm going to give this a two out of five points. Now, according to OpenAI, this is supposed to be a major area of improvement for GPT-4. So let's test out that theory. We'll copy and paste the same prompt and let it rip. So far, excellent. It's going down alphabetically and using all the letters in order and breaking it down into smaller steps than what GPT 3.5 did. Let's see how it handles the X. <laughs> Examine. <laughs> the genius. That's hilarious. I'm going to allow that, I guess. <laughs> Why not? Don't judge me. Oh, we're, we're looping back around from A to Z again. These instructions are definitely way more detailed while following my rules from the prompt. Will we get to a second X? What's it going to do this time? Oh, wow. <laughs> Explore. <laughs> Just no words. Wow. I was kind of hoping it would have done some obscure X starting word, but this is definitely more funny. Okay, that was pretty great. I, I think we need to give this a five out of five. GPT-4 is definitely more creative. So for our first two tasks, we graded out of five points, which is kind of mandatory for the first task, given there were five questions and kind of arbitrary for the second task, because why not? Reasons? I don't know. Now we're going to proceed to the final task, programming, which I'll score out of 10 points because I'm biased for programming and who are you all to say otherwise? For those who have seen my previous videos, I've definitely put GPT 3.5 through some serious tasks, often breaking and confusing it. So I'm well aware of its weaknesses and I'm eager to see how GPT 4 performs in comparison. I'm going to ask for Python code that will create a PPO model and training loop on an open sourced gym environment. In a previous video, I tested ChatGPT on the cart pole environment. So to mix things up, I'll request the mountain car environment instead. I'm going to take each of the models generated code and run it without doing any fixes. Let's start with the GPT 3.5. I'll type in the inquiry asking for a PPO model and training loop using TensorFlow in Python to solve the mountain car environment and press enter. Oh, we hit the expected character limit. Now we're going to type in continue, which in my experience has been quite painful sometimes doesn't work, but I want to see how it works with GPT-4, so we're going to use it for both models. And nice, that's actually continuing the code and finishing. Now that we take all that code, save it, run it, and error. When running the training loop, it was trying to call model, which it didn't define to compute the policy. What it failed to do was to instantiate the actor critic model it defined at the top and invoke the PPO train method it defined in the actor critic class. In my experience with previously generated GPT 3.5 code like this, it probably probably has about one to three errors that need to be fixed. Code of this complexity, and complexity being used very relatively here, has never worked without some debugging on my part. So how do I score this task? It did what we asked, but the code didn't execute. Though it failed to instantiate the class and invoke the member function, it did pretty much everything else well enough. So I'm gonna give it a, a seven out of 10. It did most of the work for us, just made a mistake or two. Now we're gonna give the GPT-4 model the same task. So far looking okay. Oh, I like that 
at the bottom there, it's a common Python practice to use if name equals main when executing code, which is a nice touch. And we've reached the end of the generated text. Let's proceed with typing continue. And wow, it, it, it looks like it's actually continuing. Now, I'm not sure how consistent this is in GPT-4 versus GPT-3.5, but that is nice to see. Continuing code has always been a role of the dice adventure in GPT-3.5. So improving that continuity and consistency from hitting that character response limit, continuing would be a godsend. Now that the code is finished generating, I'll copy and paste that, save it, and run it. Well, it looks like it's running. The printout in the terminal is showing the episode reward and average reward. Unfortunately, it did not invoke the render member function in the gym environment so we cannot see anything technically i didn't ask for it so I, I can't hold it against the model for not doing it but it would have been a nice touch i'm going to manually add it to see what it's happening and cool it is running the code definitely works unfortunately i did notice in the code that it is using the continuous mountain car environment and not the mountain car environment which operates in a discrete action space so it's not exactly what i asked for given the code worked flawless but it did not use the correct environment. I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. Pretty damn good. And, and just for the fun of it, I'm going to ask it to generate the code again, but explicitly specify a discrete action space and adding the render capability. I like the consistency of it using the if name equals main again, which is nice. And the moment of truth. Continue. Wow, it worked. This is encouraging. Save it, run it, and wow. Wow, works flawlessly a second time. That's damn impressive. I've never seen GPT 3.5 model do this like ever. And GPT-4 has now done this twice in a single video. So what's the final verdict? If we total up all the scores for each task, GPT-3.5 scored an 11 out of 20 and GPT-4 scored 18 out of 20. It absolutely dominated in the creativity and to a lesser extent, the programming. Logic was a bit close, but it was a small sample size of only five questions. If any of you disagree with my scores, let us know in the comments below how you'd grade their performances. In any case, GPT-4 shows improvement in all these categories, and I don't know about all of you, but I am extremely excited for the future of AI and its use in the industry and research. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please like and subscribe if you found the video entertaining and informative. See you all in the next AI adventure.